Alright guys, um, I'm going to do something I don't normally do here and that's give. Um, this is going to be my first video of doing this kind of thing and it's a tutorial for the new Noel Gallagher song, The Death of You and Me right. Just by popular demand, I've had quite a few PMs asking for this tune um, Right, so let's get straight into it Right, so the intro, the little fiddly bit you can, it's entirely up to you guys if you're just if you're just starting I advise that you go straight to the chords and just get straight stuck into the song but for those who like to tackle it there's two ways of doing it, you can either do it with the C major 7 chord which is the opening chord which goes along with the riff you can incorporate the riff with that which I'll show you after I've done the more simplified version so the first bit we're going to do <coughs> is this bit right, and that is I'm fretting the second fret on the high E and just to remind you guys, if you want to be playing in the same key as me, put a capo on the um, the fourth fret, not the fifth. The reason I put a capo on the fifth fret is because I'm lower tuned to E flat because my vocals are as um, powerful as I'd like them to be. So capo on fourth fret, guys, and you'll be with me on this one. So anyway, as I was saying, this bit is you fret the the second fret on the high E. And you're just going up the strings basically, so you're just seeing if I can get a bit closer here so you guys can see. Just bring this camera down a bit more. So, all we got is to go and then go to the third fret and the high, and then back to the second. And then open. So, it's sec first, um, second fret and the high, and then third fret on the E. And then back to the second, and then open, and then go up the strings. So a bit more speed on that, and try play with a bit of a swagger, so it feels like kind of like so. 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 So just recap. 2nd fret on the high E, play up the strings go to the 3rd fret on the high E and then back to the 2nd on the high E and then open and go up the strings and then the next part of the riff is you've got this like little funky slide bit going on which is on the B string on the 3rd fret you just slide it up to the 4th and then open on the high E so from the B string, 3rd fret, slide to the 4th so, and then open on the on the B string after the um, after you've done the high E. So third fret B string to the fourth. Open the high high E. Open the B. So, and then what the next part? So if I just join them two bits together. Yeah. Right. And the next bit is on the G string. We've got like a kind of roll down on three frets. And we start on the 4th fret on the G, and it's going to sound... So. Yep, so it's on the 4th, roll down to the 3rd, and then to the 2nd. I'm using that finger for the 4th for the, for the fret on the G, and then that one for the 3rd, for the, for the and this one for the 2nd. So You can do it in one movement, or you can play it, but it won't give it the same effect, so you want... So what we've got all together is... Yep. Then we get straight to the uh, main song, which is like a kind of a movement between E minor and B11. So the E minor is um, 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0 on the strings. And I'm using these two, these two fingers here to do the E minor. So. so, And the kind of rhythm you want to be playing is a kind of sloppy kind of country style rhythm so and that incorporated in sounds like this and what you're doing is that every on each beat you want to be doing the downstroke slightly harder so it emphasizes more so it's like right and the next chord you're going to be incorporating with that is B11 which is um, uh, the lower you don't play, 
but then you play the second fret on the A string with um, this finger, the first fret with the D, and this finger plays the um, second fret on the G, and the B and the high E are open, so you don't you don't have to fret anything there, and it'll sound like this. So, and what you got to do to incorporate the two is this. That gives you the outside, summer in the city, the kids are looking pretty. And then on the, at the end of each of the verses you've got a uh, um an A minor to C. Though that's what I'm playing on the cover, there's still a debate whether it's an A minor seventh or not. But um for the sake of this, to follow along with the cover I did, we'll do an A minor to C. So we got The A minor is um, don't play the low E, um, leave the A open, and it's two two one zero. So and then on to a C, which I'm using a, a G bass note on the top just to give it a bit more fullness, and that'll be three three two zero one zero. So it's so all them chords together, and that's this is the verses. So. Now we move on to the chorus, which is the The C is calling out to me. Um that starts in G, and I'm doing the full the full the full whack G, which is the three, two, zero, zero, three, three. So it's like the full body G. So that sounds like that. And that goes to the C is calling out to and then to a full B7, which is uh, don't play the low E, and then do two, one, two, zero, two. So a full B7. So you got the C is calling out to me. And then now I've got an e, an e minor, which is um, which we said before. And then that goes to an e, e minor seventh, which take off um, this finger here, which will be just leaving the one finger fretted on the second fret on the A string, which will sound like this. So C is calling out to me. Seen us spend the whole and then on the running part, I go to a full C, which was that. Running. And then you go to uh, uh, who can be the death of you and me to B seven. Then to E minor, E minor seven. Then this goes to the C sharp minor seven sharp eleventh, which sounds really bizarre and wacky. What we need to play there is you don't play the low E. You fret the uh, fourth fret on the A string with this finger, um, and then this finger you use for the D string on the second fret, and the rest are open. So what you got is this. So, and it sounds like a rundown of the bass notes, basically. So E minor, E minor seven, and then to the. The C sharp minor seven sharp eleven, and then to a C major seven, and I'm adding the G bass note to give it fullness again. So it's basically this as a C, except I just take this finger off. So, and then basically <coughs> that is the verse and chorus. Here. So we got. I could go through the thing. The C is calling out to me. The C to spend my whole And then in between that hole we got is the where the horn section comes in. I think the way I perceived it to be was a, a C to B7 full and then to an E minor to an E minor 7. So I'll be like And then on the second time round do the same but when you get to the E minor you need to do this like funky little bass roll which just leads you back to the C again which is and then I bring my thumb over to the second fret and then 
my little finger comes up to do the G bass now. So it's and let off just back to an E minor again. So, so I got I'll do the whole thing round. E minor, E minor seven, C, B seven. And then we're back to the chorus again, and then for the outro, it's um, basically a copy of the verse, except for there's a little um, sharp C to B7 hit, which um, I make it to be this. Yeah. So just remember the rhythm. It's quite important to get that feel the way Noel's doing it to give it that kind of swagger. And that chilled out, relaxed kind of fun. Easy, really going, nice tune. So anyway, guys, hope I haven't waffled too much, and um, <clears throat> I hope this gives you more of an insight of how to play the song. Um, it's not 100% right. This is the way I perceive to transcribe it. I don't write tab out, so I'm hoping this video will help you guys who want to learn it. And if you have any more questions, just throw them down in the box, and I'll try my best to answer them. But um, yep, yeah, hope this has um, helped you guys out and. Have good fun learning it guys like I did.